everyone this is ethiopian agash welcome back today i'm sharing with you a super fun dinner ideas that i think will be perfect for your romantic dinner or if you're just having a get together with your friends i'll share with you guys a very tasty garlic and herb crusted lamb chops skillet fries and spinach avocado salad i hope you guys enjoy this recipe so if you do please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you go now let's get to it I'll start by getting our flower bouquet ready and move on to showing you our very simple Valentine decor that I had in our kitchen and living room. These flowers are so colorful and beautiful. Don got it for me uh, from Whole Foods. If you're looking for nice flowers, I'll go to uh, our Whole Foods and Trader Joe's so you can go check them out this weekend. I went to Target and Home Goods to uh, shop for most of my Valentine decor. Uh, so I got this wreath and towels from uh, Target and this cute three heart shaped balls and the marble and wood cutting board from Home Goods, along with this marble and wood cake stand, which I'm using to display my oil diffuser. And these two pillows are from Target. And by the way, Home Goods and Target Shop With Me videos are up on my other channel. So go check it out after watching this video. I'll make sure to link it below for you. For the marinade, I'll mix five garlic cloves pressed, three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of fresh parsley, uh, or you can use two tablespoons of dried parsley, two tablespoons of preferably Tabasco original red pepper sauce. I didn't have that today, so I'm using Berbere, which is Ethiopian traditional spice, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one fourth teaspoon of dried thyme. And mix it well together. <music> So we got about eight counts of uh, lamb rib chops, which is organic grass-fed, grass-finished from Whole Foods. I will wrap the marinade all over the ribs and cover and leave it in the fridge for about six hours. I preheated my pan and adding one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm boiling my potatoes on the side to get them ready for my skillet fries recipe. I'll now place the chops in the pan uh, one at a time and sear the first side three to four minutes and flip over and sear the other side three to four minutes or a little longer based on how uh, well you want it done. Uh, once it's done, I'll remove them to my serving platter and let them rest. I'll go ahead and spoon out any excess crust or oil leaving out uh, about one tablespoon of oil on the pan then add half a cup of beef stock two tablespoons of butter and mix it well together once all done I'll drizzle it over the lamb chops and it will be ready to be served So 
I boiled my potatoes for about 35 minutes and they're ready. For my skillet fried seasoning mix, I'm using three tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of dried parsley, and I'll combine it together and we'll put it aside and I'll cut up my potatoes. Now I'll toss my potatoes with the olive oil mixture and we'll throw the potatoes on preheated skillet. Add one tablespoon of butter and five minced garlic, then we'll toss it until the skin of the potato is crispy. And add one more tablespoon of butter and toss it for about five more minutes and it will be ready to be served. The spinach avocado salad I have one cup of spinach one cut up avocado one cut up tomato one chopped jalapeno chopped onion and minced garlic salt pepper one tablespoon of olive oil one tablespoon of lemon juice and two tablespoon of water and mix it well together and will be ready to be served then with cooking and moving on to setting up my table I got the plates candle uh, teacups, table runner, and the cake stand from Home Goods. The small chocolate cake and the sparkling pink wine is from Whole Foods. I'll make sure to link every product I can find in the description below for you. If you are on Instagram, please make sure you follow me. I would love to have you there too. If you decided to try my recipe, go ahead and send me your picture. I would love to see it. And let me know in the comments below how you're planning to celebrate this Valentine's Day. Are you going out or are you dining in like us? I will look forward to your comments.
Our table looks beautiful with lights off. After enjoying our romantic dinner, we will head to our living room, turn on the fireplace to cozy up, relax, and watch movies. That was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe before you leave. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. Until I see you on my next video, this is Ethiopia saying goodbye.